Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. We have another question for you today on simple interest and compound interest. So in this particular question, we just need to find the difference between simple interest and yearly compound interest on 7,500 rupees at the rate of 12% in three years. So first, let's just write the given things again. Okay, so solution, we have our principal amount as RS, 7,500. Our rate is 12% and our time period is three years. So to find the difference between simple interest and compound interest, first let's just find the simple interest and compound interest separately. So we know that the formula of simple interest is PGR divided by 100 equals to, we have our principal as 7,500, our time is three years, multiplied by our rate is 12 divided by 100. So you can cancel these two zeros and these two zeros and when you multiply all of this in your calculator you get 2700 rupees. Okay. Similarly for our compound interest we have our formula P big bracket small bracket 1 plus R divided by 100 power T minus 1. So equals to our principal is again 7500 bracket bracket 1 plus our rate is 12% divided by 100 power our time is 3 years minus 1. So this is going to be equal to 7500. We have our bracket bracket 1 plus 12 by 100 is 0 0.12 cube minus 1 equals to again we have our 7500 over here Bracket 1 plus 0 0.12 is 1.12 Q minus 1. And this is going to be equal to, we have our 7500. Bracket 1.12 cube is 1.4049288 minus 1. Equals to, again, 7500 times, we just subtract these two numbers so you get 0 0.4049. 28 and then when you multiply these two numbers finally you get your answer which is 3036.96 so this is our compound interest now we have our compound interest and simple interest we can easily find the difference so compound interest minus simple interest is going to be our compound interest was 3036.96 minus our simple interest was 2700 right so the difference between them is going to be rupees 336.96 and done we have solved our question so it's pretty simple it's not that difficult you just find the simple interest and then the compound interest and then you just subtract them you get your answer so if you found this video helpful please like it and subscribe to our channel for future maths videos thank you